we're here with the dagger board. We're varnishing up for 1963 Sunfish chip. This is the uh, spoon tip dagger board that would have been put out in the 60s by spoon tip. I mean, it's got this spoon shaped tip on it. It's about, I keep telling people it's about 39 inches long. Let's see what it actually is after sanding. Ooh, it's about ooh, 30, 39, 40 inches. We had to sand uh, some little chunks that were taken out there. We shaped the the uh, leading and trailing edge on it. We're putting uh, we sanded it down with 40 grit, got rid of the, all the old varnish, and then took a bottle of Clorox bleach and poured on it. Left it overnight to uh, get it uh, a nice even finish on it. Now we're putting on Total Boat Halcyon. I read off the package here. It's fast drying. No sanding between coats. And um, I like the package it's in. It's a pour pack. Just pour out what you need and press out the extra air and save it. And there's there's um, not some of the issues you have with the can. So we just pour some out separate in a little cup. And then we just start uh, brushing it on. Since we sanded back to bare wood on this, there's a lot of grain that we got to fill, so we're watching as we go along. Just try not to overbrush. If you overbrush, by that I mean you just too much on some varnishes, introduce bubbles, and then if you care, you're trying to. If that bugs you, you're in there later trying to take those out. So my method, just get dab a little bit on the end of the brush and knock some of it off on the side of the cup but don't scrape it because that'll put bubbles into the varnish also and then just come and work it back and forth with the finishing brush to we go up just a light feather so we feather the new varnish into the old we don't want too many hard lines you might even be able to see that there so we just work it that way And you don't want to go cross grain because then you have the grain pattern running this way and you see brush marks run that way. So if you brush uh, with the grain, your brush marks will disappear. This varnish doesn't tack up too fast, so I'm actually able to go back. And throw another coat right on top of it. As it's, soaked, as it's soaking into that bare wood, I can start to see, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, some lighter spots, it's soaked in a little more darker spots where it hasn't soaked in as much, so I can go back right now and even that up a little bit. Varnish people, we don't go for the coffee table look, we go for a protective coat or coating, which usually means about two coats for us. So, some people like to get a real deep gloss, a real deep shine to it, and that looks great. Uh, we took um, a little bit of 220 before we um, went to work on this to knock the fuzz off the little bits of wood that were raised when we uh, after we poured the uh, bleach on it. So we have found with this varnish to be as advertised, not having to sand it between coats. We've enjoyed that. There are, I haven't put on a bunch of coats of this varnish, so I can't tell you whether it will get a really deep shine like I know uh, some of Epiphanes will, will, which is one of my buddy Alan's uh, favorites. I think that's right. He'll, he'll email me and let me know if it wasn't. But uh, now this coat's just trying to get everything evened out. So make sure you get along the edges. We'll run the brush lightly down the edge to catch any drips. Those are kind of a pain, like uh, on my hand there, to get rid of. But uh, brush, varnish, cups, everything came from total boat. Here's a 
plug for them. They sent this to us to try, and we really like it. We're about to about to run out of it. The, um... Now, Louie, our buddy Louie, tips from a shipwright. I think he showed us this little trick for a little piece of sandpaper to take it, fold it in twice, fold it in half twice, and cut a little slit in it. And then you can fold it up, and you got a nice little piece to work in the corners. Easy to control. Sometimes you got a big piece of sandpaper trying to move it all around. It catches and it slides out from underneath your hand. So you can work it this way. Then when this piece gets uh, a little warm, you can fold, worn, you can fold it back under, and you can all work four pieces that way. And Louie does a lot of sanding, uh, and he says that's how he gets the most use out of his sandpaper. His uh, YouTube channel's Tips from a Shipwright. Go check it out sometimes. Lots of entertaining information on there. So this is the um, dagger board for a chip. See if we can spin you around here. Put the um, paint on. We use some Interlux bright side. The Largo blue for this color because that's the color we wanted. Come in, we've got the primer down on the deck here, a little bit of fairing to fill some nail holes, and we're getting ready to put oyster white onto the deck. Try and work you around to some of the other parts here. Here's the paint table. Here's the uh, primer that we used, and then we were starting to run out of white. Had a couple of cans of gray, so we started mixing them, and I forgot about that tip. Uh, depending on what you're painting, sometimes you can get a coat of primer down. And then um, second coat, what we've done for at times is mix about 50-50 color and primer. So you get on that second coat, you get some of the color going. And then it means you can go with one coat of color, of a straight color after that. And get a good look and paint job. Chip uh, helped us out with the camera platform. You probably tell by our videos. We spend a lot of time in the video editing room and we have all kinds of high-tech uh, video gear and we just put the camera up here and can of paint spin around and away we go I'd like to see some of y'all's videos of what y'all are working on it's pretty easy just shoot it on your iPhone this horizontal format gets the most uh, of the what you're working on in there and upload it and we'd like to look at it Hope y'all are having a great day.